everyone, welcome to Animal Antics Storytime and today's story time is all about dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? I like dinosaurs. Do you know what sound a dinosaur makes? Roar, right? Well, our first story today is about this dinosaur named Crunch and Crunch is a shy dinosaur. Do you know what it means to feel shy? Sometimes people or dinosaurs feel shy when they get kind of nervous around new people. And sometimes you can, you kind of want to be quiet for a little while, or maybe you're kind of scared to join like a big group of people. But sometimes when you get to know them a little better, or you get to spend more time with them, you feel more comfortable and you feel like playing and being in their friend. And that's kind of what's going on with Crunch. And so let's see what we can do to make Crunch feel a little more comfortable and want to come out and be our friend. So, are you ready? Here we go. Crunch the Shy Dinosaur. This is Crunch. Wait a second. Where's Crunch? Do you see him? I don't see him. There he is. He's hiding in the trees. He is very shy. Crunch is shy, so you'll have to be the first one to say hello. Go on, say hello. Hello, Crunch. Oh my, we've said it too loudly. Crunch seems to have run off. Do you see him anywhere? Can you find him? He likes the happy birthday song. Do you know that song? If we sing it, maybe he'll come out. Do you, you want to sing happy birthday with me and see if Crunch will come out? All right, let's, let's go. You ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Crunch. Happy birthday to you. It worked! He's out! He loves birthdays because someone has one every single day. He loves days in general. He's very positive. Look, he's even smiling now. Try to say hello again. You can try it quietly so you don't scare him though. You ready? Here we go. Hello, Crunch. Uh-oh. That was too quiet. He's gotten uncomfortably close to you. Try it one more time in a nice medium sounding voice. Bold, yet gentle. Ready? Hello, Crunch. Oh, perfect. You can tell he liked it because he's an appropriate distance from you and because he put on his most fun hat and is dancing. Yay. Now you can tell him your name. Say it clearly so he can paint it on that big rock. He loves painting names. Will you tell Crunch your name? <gasps> There's your name, perfectly painted, right there. You can't see it because it's behind a big pile of leaves, but it's right there. Say thank you, Crunch. Can you tell Crunch thank you? Thank you, Crunch. Uh-oh, your voice startled him. Maybe now would be a good time to be very quiet and sit very still and see if he climbs back down. Can you be very quiet and still with me and see if Crunch will climb down from the tree? You ready? Here we go. It worked! Good job being quiet and still. Sometimes it's important to let shy dinosaurs come to you at their own pace. That's good. That's a good thought for friends too. Sometimes friends will come to you if they're feeling shy. 
Crunch is tired from all the climbing and painting and socializing. You can remind him that he should go to sleep by saying good night, Crunch. Can you tell Crunch good night? Good night, Crunch. Uh-oh. He must have thought you said good light, Crunch. Look, he brought us a ton of lamps. That's not what we said. Say good night, Crunch, one more time in a calm and soothing voice. Maybe you can lie down when you say it and you can show him how nice sleep is. Oh, you ready? Good night, Crunch. You did it. He passed out immediately. We should probably let him sleep. If you wouldn't mind, please close this book very gently. Okay, I'm gonna be super gentle so I don't wake up Crunch. Okay. Perfect. And that is the story of Crunch the Shy Dinosaur. I hope you liked that story today. And I have another dinosaur song for you. And it has a bunch of dinosaurs in it. Let's see if we can count them all. There's one, one, two, three, four, five dinosaurs. And there are some actions that you're gonna do along with me. And it goes like this. So now we know we have five, we're gonna hold up five fingers for our five dinosaurs. Are you ready? Here we go. Five enormous dinosaurs letting out a roar. Roar! One stomped away. And then there were four. Stomp, 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 roar! So now we have one, two, three, four. Four enormous dinosaurs knocking down a tree. Boom! One stomped away. And then there were three. Stomp, 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 roar! So now we have one, two, three dinosaurs. Three enormous dinosaurs eating tiger stew. Ew! One stomped away. And then there were two. Stomp, 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 stomp. Roar! Two enormous dinosaurs dancing in the sun. One stomped away. And then there was one. Stomp, 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 stomp. Roar! Now how many are left? One. <gasps> one dinosaur. One enormous dinosaur missing all his friends. So he called all the dinosaurs. <gasps> Roar! And they came back again. Stomp, 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 Roar! <gasps> and now there are one, two, three, four, Five Enormous Dinosaurs. The end. That's a fun song, isn't it? And you can stomp around like a dinosaur and let out all of your dinosaur roars. I like that song a lot. So now that we've finished this song, I think it's time for one more story. Are you guys ready for one more dinosaur story? I think you are. Our last dinosaur story today has dinosaurs in it, but it also has a dog and this dog's name is Groovy Joe and this story is called Groovy Joe Ice Cream and Dinosaurs and it goes like this. Once there was a dog named Groovy Joe and he had his favorite thing in the whole wide world and it was a great big container of doggy ice cream. Arrgh. Yes, he was very excited about it. And he loved his doggy ice cream so much, he even 
wrote a song about it and it went like this. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. <gasps> Until roar! In stomped an enormous dinosaur. And the dinosaur glared at the doggy ice cream and took out a spoon. He put on a bib, pulled up a chair, and what did Joe say? He said, it's awesome to share. And so they both sang, love my doggy ice cream, love my doggy ice cream, love my doggy ice cream, roar! In stomped another dinosaur. He stomped in the room, glared at the ice cream, and pulled out a spoon. Pull, put on a bib, pulled up a chair, and what did Joe say? He said, it's awesome to share. And so all three sang, do you know the words yet? Here we go. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Roar! In stomped another dinosaur. And he marched in the room, stared at the ice cream, and pulled out a spoon. Put on a bib, pulled up a chair, and what did Groovy Joe say? What do you think? It's awesome to share. And everyone sang. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Roar! Oh no! The ice cream is empty. What will they do? Oh no, we have all these spoons and nothing, nothing left in the ice cream. Are the dinosaurs gonna get hungry? What do you think is gonna happen? But then Groovy Joe has an idea. He takes the tub and flips it over and turns it into a drum. And he beats out a Rum tum tum tum. And all the dinosaurs start dancing. And he gets an idea. He decides to play the song one more time for all of the dinosaurs. And you can sing along with us. All right, here we go. Ready? Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Love my doggy ice cream. Roar! And that is the story of Groovy Joe, Ice Cream, and Dinosaurs. They had a lot of doggy ice cream, didn't they? Uh, it's surprising that dinosaurs like doggy ice cream, but I guess dinosaurs probably like all kinds of ice cream if they could have it. Um, but that is all the dinosaur stories I have today. And I have one more song for us, and that's if, if you're happy and you know it. So we can do a happy, happy, and you know it with our groovy Joe over here. Do you want to do happy and you know it with us? You do? All right. I think you know what comes first. We're going to clap our hands first. So if you want to stand up and get ready, here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap, clap. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, jump up and down, jump, jump. If you're happy and you know it, jump up and down, jump, jump. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, jump up and down, jump, jump. If you're happy and you know it, give a roar, roar!
If you're happy and you know it, give a roar. Roar! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, give a roar. Roar! Like a dinosaur. Roar! If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Bye! If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Bye! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Bye, everyone. I'll see you next time.